Welcome to another video on my channel. In this one, I'll show you how to get an A star in economics IGCSE or GCSE. Before that, please remember to check out my Instagram account at Khadija Yasser, where I'm now active and you can see more personal aspects of my life. Also, I now have an online jewelry store, Zuzaz, which you can access by clicking on the link in the description. We have a 50% off clearance sale at the moment, so you can check that out as well. I've also started giving economics IGCSE tuitions online, so if if you're interested you can contact me on instagram about it now another thing before we begin um economics is a subject which came very naturally to me so i naturally grasped it so i don't have any specific tips and tricks which will suddenly boost your understanding of economics or really help you to you know pass the exam i don't have any hidden secrets or anything like that these are just very basic tips the basics which i followed so i hope you guys find this video helpful if you do please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe as always so for economics, fortunately, I had both the new textbook and the old textbook, which helped me quite a lot because both had good content on each no, chapter. I'm not saying you should have both of them, but what I'm saying is that using textbooks is a very important way of revising for your IGCSEs because many times we just skim through textbooks, take what we need from them and make our own notes. But you should use textbooks in a way that benefits you the most, which means highlighting things that are important instead of writing notes because sometimes that wastes your time doing the end of chapter questions doing all the mcqs um, and looking at subject vocabulary which is on the side um, because all these things eventually help you grasp the concept so these small things should not be overlooked diagrams as well are very important so they shouldn't be overlooked as well so the textbook's purpose is to make you understand um, the subject matter so you need to understand from the textbook but then to effectively revise you need to take things from the textbook make them into um, notes or um, flashcards and that is how you benefit from the textbook so of course you just can't use only the textbook for revising the textbook is just your base it's your foundation it's where you learn from so you will use it to learn you will take notes in your textbook like I have done over here so you can see in pencil I have written lots of things on the side things which our teachers said things which I noted myself examples etc and these things helped because um, once I understood everything in the textbook and I highlighted all the important things from those things, I was able to make flashcards. So I even used the glossary at the back of the textbook to create the flashcards. So these things in the textbook help quite a lot. And I hope you guys are understanding what I mean here. Another thing, command words. So in most IGCSE or GCSE textbooks, they have this page for command words. Now, command words are basically the words that appear in the IGCSE final exam. Words like analyze, assess, evaluate, as you can see over here. So so this table explains how these words are used in the exam and how you have to answer questions when such words are used and that's very useful. So another thing which is useful in this particular textbook, the new IGCSE one, is this end of book um, exam questions. So they are whole exam questions which was really useful and I practice these um, with pencil so these help a lot because they're essentially preparing you for your international GCS economics examination as it says over there and I even took some extra notes as you can see here on sticky notes um, just to make me understand um, why I am answering in such a way. So this kind of practice is very important. Now this is the old textbook which you can see over here. I didn't use this textbook that much but for those who want to understand the subject matter more easily this might be a better option because there is less content on the subject but it's explained more briefly and concisely so you are able to skim over topics much faster so if you're looking for a faster way to revise you might want to get this book also as you can see there are end of chapter exam practice questions in this book as well and also things like you know key facts on the sides which makes it a very good textbook as well the next thing after textbooks is obviously flashcards. If you guys have been watching my videos all this time, you will know that flashcards are very important and I keep stressing that fact. Now for me, I use the textbook obviously to make my flashcards and I made them online on Quizlet as you can see over here and they help me so, so, so much. I cannot even say how much they help me. but. 
Um, the main thing to remember is that you will obviously use the textbook and all the important details from the textbook, as I just said, to make these flashcards. And all of my flashcards were per the chapters. So one chapter was one side of flashcards, such as chapter 42, you can see over here, and chapter 27, unemployment. So um, Quizlet is a great, great place for making flashcards. This is not an ad, but I'm just recommending this for all of you. It's free to use to a certain amount. And also now I sell these flashcards as well. So if you're interested in buying these economic flashcards, they're available on my online shop on Kofi now, and you can go ahead and purchase them. Um, so they're immensely useful because I have made them in a way that um, they cover the most important details from all the chapters, everything which is most likely to come in your IGCSE exam and the way that you learn them on Quizlet is also very good because it uses active recall. So I would highly recommend that you purchase these. If you can't, please make your own flashcards because flashcards are very, very important. So you need to make your own, even if they're on paper, you can make them on paper. It's an amazing way to study because what it means is that now that you've covered the textbook and put all the important stuff from that into your flashcards now when your igcses come near or when you're giving your exam or revising just before your exam you can use your flashcards instead of going over the entire textbook if you're confused about how to use quizlet and what it's all about then you can check my other video which is exactly about how to use quizlet to study flashcards so you can check that out also if you are confused about what flashcards are and why i'm going crazy about them then you can check another video of mine which shows you why flashcards are such an important part of revising and studying for your IGCSEs or A-levels or anything actually. Okay, so moving on from flashcards, we go to blurting, which is a fairly new technique which I learned from another video online. And it includes creating these chits, which you can see over here, um, which contain, which each contain um, a certain topic or chapter of the economics IGCSE syllabus. So if you open one of these up, it will contain a single chapter such as redistribution of income as you can see over here now the thing is you create all these chits and then when you want to revise you pick up one at random um, you see what the topic is and you're going to take a piece of paper and a pen and just blurt out literally just blurt out whatever you remember about that topic so when it comes to the mixed economy just think of everything that you've learned or everything your teacher said whatever you remember just write it down on a piece of paper and blurt out whatever you remember so this basically triggers your mind into um, remembering this information that is stored in your brain and it helps you remember better now if you don't remember stuff it shows that you're weak in that topic and you can't um, remember much so the thing to do then, of course, is to refer back to your textbook, see what it says about that topic, and that way you learn better. So this process is really good for those of you who are not interested in flashcards or can't focus on the textbook for too long. So blurting is the way to go for you. Um, and of course, the most important thing is to always refer back to the textbook if you don't know something. If you don't do that, if you don't refer back to the textbook, you won't learn anything. And of course, you have to make sure that you spend more time on this. So don't just pick up one chit and blurt it out and then get over it. You have to keep on doing all of the chits at random. Okay, so the last tip is, of course, past papers. You can never revise for any subject without doing past papers. You can find them on the Pearson website, calls.pearson.com or Cambridge if you're doing Cambridge economics. And um, the reason why past papers are so important is because they show you how your exam paper is going to look like. So you get to know the format of the questions. And when you answer these questions, you realize what you are weak in and what you are stronger in. So if you're able to answer a certain type of question faster, you know you're better at calculation questions or diagram questions maybe be and maybe you need to work more on longer essay type answers so that really helps you and of course you have to look at the mark scheme when you finish a past paper you have to check it according to the mark scheme you have to analyze and evaluate why you made the mistake um, what was the reason you fell into the mistake or how you can improve or what things you missed out in your answer or if it's an essay answer like economics does have several long answers which you have to give for like nine or 12 marks in which you have to be really analytical and evaluate options so sometimes it's like maybe you're writing too many positives and you're not um, writing about the negative so what i would do i would screenshot these answers basically so if i got a certain essay answer wrong i would screenshot the answer from the mark scheme and basically store it on my computer so what happened then was that 
when the IGCSE exam came, I went through all of these screenshots and I saw, okay, these are the points I have to include if a question is about a certain topic. So this helped me quite a lot and it's a sort of tip actually. But other than that, you should practice past papers as much as possible. And that's it for this video. I know these are a few tips, but it's all that I could come up with um, for now. And hopefully you all get great results. I know your exams are going on at the moment and hopefully it all goes well.